All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great uh, week so far. Got the weekend coming up. Give you something to look forward to. And gives me something to look forward to now that I actually have weekends off. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had weekends off, but I've really been enjoying it. All right. What we're looking at here, this is called FlexCore OS, and it's made by my friend Leviticus. And Leviticus if you're watching this, I want to apologize right away because you probably know <laughs> that I'm not the best at doing these types of videos. But when something really sticks out to me, and mainly it's lesser known distros that impress me or, you know, really catches my attention, I want to let other people know about it. And Leviticus is a friend of mine, and you might recognize his name from other YouTube channel comments and so forth. Leviticus, and he has the peppermint logo on uh, next to his name. That's the guy that made this. <clears throat> now what this is, first of all, let me get rid of those, if I can remember how to do this. get rid of all these extra items here on the desktop icons there we go removable drives good okay and I'll move this up here all right what Leviticus is made here is an XFWM4 standalone system. In other words, it's not XFCE, but it's using the XFWM4 window manager to provide the system. So there are, naturally, there's going to be a lot of XFCE4 related items here, but it's not XFCE4, it's just the window manager. Kind of like how any other window manager <clears throat> is controlling your desktop. XFWM4 is controlling the desktop, just like OpenBox or i3, whatever. So that's interesting in and of itself. It's kind of made me interested in going back and tackling my KWIN standalone build. <laughs> oh, my, but let's just forget about all that and we'll get into FlexCore. All right. Now, I have to say it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Leviticus has incorporated a FlexCore Plymouth screen. Uh, the login screen is LightDM, and it uses this same wallpaper here on the login screen. And while we're on the login screen, let me <clears throat> point out that when you boot this live, you get to the login screen, all you have to do is hit enter on your keyboard and it'll take you here to the desktop. All right. Up here we have a tent two panel and down here we have a tent two panel. This is desktop number one. He has a desktop switcher here. Number two. See what that one did? Oh. Man, look at that's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Any of you who are familiar with me, you know I love colors. So, I love that. Leviticus, I might have to steal this. I like the deer, too. Nothing against the deer. I just, something about that one just really captivates me. Let's see what's on number three. A fire tower. Very nice. I love that. And number four are some computer keyboards. I like the color scheme that he's going with here. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know if this is like a f flat or what, but it's beautiful and the purple mouse that looks to be an, like an oxygen cursor. Okay, now you can right click on your desktop just like on XFCE, you can come down here and look at all your applications. I'm not going to go through the applications. I'm going to show them real quick, 
and then we will I'll just point out a few I'm not going to look at settings we'll look at accessories and I'm just going to point out some things that might strike my fancy here um, you get light DM GT GTK greeter settings so you can change your uh, login screen if you want to it has plank uh, slings code we'll get to that in just a moment and of course Thunar development icon browser that comes in with YAD <clears throat> if you're familiar with YAD graphics you get Restrato for your image viewer internet Firefox and the ice application uh, I'm sure most of you now are familiar with ice what what it's used for so that was nice of Leviticus to include that if you're not familiar with it you can go to a website and you can make specific sites you can make like a an application launcher that will open up a specific website under multimedia now I added simple screen recorder before I even thought about it because I'm just so used to adding it because that's what I like to use uh, unless I'm on OpenBSD of course <laughs> and then I do it like a real man <laughs> But I added, <laughs> I added simple screen recorder before I even realized Kazam. Kazam's already installed. LX Music. Oh, I love LX Music. When I first got into Linux uh, years ago, that was kind of that <clears throat> that became kind of my mainstay music player for several years. PN Mixer. That's your volume mixer up here on the panel and VLC under office Boomaga I don't know what Boomaga is let's have a look I've never even heard of it so we'll see what it is hmm let's look under help Boomaga provides a Okay, a virtual printer for cups. Okay. This can be used for a print preview or for print booklets. All right. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that nor heard of it. Where'd you come up with that, Leviticus? <laughs> How'd you find that? <laughs> Other, the exit utility, pin guy builder, and system see if there's anything bleach bit H top printers and synaptic very good okay now if you notice this desktop switcher down here it's actually if that concerns you don't let it concern you because Windows will cover it. They're not going to see there, it covers it up. All right. Let's see, what else? Oh, I wanted to show this. This is the Slings Code Launcher. <clears throat> what this is is a full screen application launcher, and it's really nice to see Leviticus in, including this in his builds because uh, you don't see it often any longer. And if you, it looks similar to like the GNOME menu, I guess you'd say. And you can scroll through here. You can type, uh, search and type for applications. And just click anywhere on an empty space of that menu to close it. All right, on the panel you get Firefox, the terminal, the file manager, and that is uh, Synaptic Package Manager. Over here you get your exit. Just click that. I think that's an exit utility. Yep. Nice little exit utility there. A calendar and of course all your items that sit in your system tray. All right. Now, after talking with Leviticus about this a little bit, he said he wanted to point out a few things. Um, 
I'll need to show hidden files. I'm not used to using Thunar. You have to do it up here. So <laughs> and by the way, I love this color scheme. I need to, hopefully I'll remember to look at the icons and themes before we close this down. And he said it's in XFWM. And here's his auto start file. Okay. So he's got his two tent twos auto starting, pole kit, PN mixer. Again, that's your audio mixer up here on the panel. Uh, some of the XFCE4 services, the network manager applet. Um, he's got Plank, he's got it commented out, and NumLock X. All right, very interesting. Now, he also said to look at the um, keyboard and window manager settings. <clears throat> so, first we will look at the keyboard settings because he he said this will both of these items the keyboard and under the window manager settings you'll find key binds and I'm not gonna go over all these I'm just gonna oh he's got Rofi in here too super R let's try that there we go Nice. I love Rufy. Oh, what else? Print will take a screenshot. Okay. So that's where you you can learn what your uh, some of your key keyboard shortcuts are. Now let's look at the window manager. I'm not sure if I go to tweaks or just window manager. We'll go with window manager first. And keyboard. Because he said he had some pseudo tiling going on. Or you could use some pseudo tiling. So let's see if we can find that real quick. Here we go, tile window to the top, super up. Let's try that, super up. Hmm. Let's open a different window. Super up, super down, super left, and super right. Okay. And that looks like it's already tiled, doesn't it? So let's see if we can we can move that. Boom! There we go. Up to the top, down to, over to the left, over to the. Very nice. Leviticus, you go, man. That's <laughs> that's pretty neat. <laughs> oh me, very nice. So he's got several items here you can work with if you want to use tiling on the desktop. All right, let's look at the appearance real quick and we are about to wrap this up. So we are using Dracula. I have never heard of that, but I like it. Very nice. But he also has the Adwaitas and the Arcs, a couple of the gray birds, and high contrast. And icons, Dracula icons also. Okay, I'm going to have to check that out. I really like, it looks like they incorporate a little bit of both, uh, I can't think of what that circular theme is called. Anyway, that circular icon thing, it'll come to me after I quit the video, <laughs> but it looks like a cross between that and papyrus. It has deepened elementary icons um, he does have papyrus icons here too and some of the Ubuntu's so very nice 
Now I failed to mention that this is based on Ubuntu. Very, very nice, very smooth system. I really enjoy using it. Uh, I've been playing around with it for a little bit before I did the video so that I could get myself a little more familiar with it. Now, let's do one final thing since I love LX Music. And let me type for it LX, and there it is. And let me get one of, hopefully I will be able to do this. Let me go to my Mio Rolling partition. I'm going to steal a song. And what do I want to steal? Okay, let's do some Eddie Money, baby. Let's copy that. We'll go back to the user. I'll put that in music and we will paste it in there. All right, now let's add that. It's been a long time since I've used this, so add to playlist, add files or folders. And I want that one right there. All right, here we go. Do no. here we go. Okay, let's look at preferences. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I don't want to show the system tray icon. Audio, output, plug-in, nothing is. Look like the plug-in is also okay. All right, now let's try it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know where the video got cut off. Let me let me stop this. You see, it's now working. I don't want to get banned by the YouTube police for playing that song. Uh, <laughs> I got it working, and I was celebrating, and all of a sudden, I noticed simple screen recorder had stopped working. Something I was messing around with in here must have done something to it. But you see it's working. Uh, if, I, if, you, if I cover this and the part before it stopped working, what I did, I went in here to audio and I had to choose also Linux sound architecture or also yeah, advanced Linux sound architecture. And after that, it started working. So, I don't know what that did to kill Simple Screen Recorder, but it did. But maybe that'll help somebody that wants to try this out. If you try to play some music and you can't, that, that'll be what you need to do. Okay, sorry about that, Leviticus. All right, this is FlexCore OS XFWM Standalone and I will put links where you can download it and I think you'll really enjoy the system. Alright, you guys have a great weekend coming up and take care. Thanks a lot.